Welcome to the Andy's Randomness Channel. Your exclusive home for the Andy Plays video game series every Sunday. If any topic interests me I will make a video and discuss it. Feel free to check out my previous content. Also check out my playlists they make it easier to find other videos I have uploaded or interest me. I started this channel in May 2015 for one goal to express my topics or interests and share them to the online community. Thank you for watching this trailer and I hope you will enjoy all the content on this channel. Hello to everyone and welcome to your weekly MTA plan work video for the Queen Subways and Long Island Railroad for the weekend of Friday, August 30th, 2019 and lasting until Monday, September 2nd, 2019. For some of us, it is a very important weekend because we do get an extended holiday vacation. Some of us get three, some of us get four. So with that being all said, Happy Labor Day to everybody who gets to take the day off. It is a federal holiday, of course. And I will mention to any school teachers watching, unfortunately, reality is going to kick back in this week because you guys have to go back to the classrooms. And I know for students in general, college and everybody else, it's at that time of the year, it's back to school. But for us working people, we get the day off. Some of us even get the week off from our job because we only do one day a week anyway. Which yours truly gets that, but my vacation ends on Wednesday because I have to go back to Northwell. But at least I get another extended day off, so yay for me on September 3rd. But anyhow, enough about me. Let's get into what we normally do every weekend, and that is talk about the Queen Subways and Long Island Railroad. Now, for this weekend's presentation, I was not able to add stuff from the Long Island Railroad website to uh, PowerPoint. However, for next weekend, because I know the 7th and the 8th and the 14th and the 15th, we have the Nassau grade, uh, Nassau switch removal. There we go. It's a grade crossing. I'm like, we're not doing grade crossing. We're doing switch removal for the next two weeks. <laughs> There'll be a uh, special presentation regarding that next week. From what we normally do on Friday, so I will add that from the MTA's website next week, and I'll try my best to do it, which I've made attempts, and it's actually worked out. So let's hope it'll continue on from that path, but I did record from the Long Island Railroad website, so you'll see that later on at the end of this video in regards to Labor Day service for later today, which you should be seeing this video on August 30th. And of course, uh, important service changes regarding LIRR. We have new timetables. I'll bring that up at the end of the video. And something else going along the Montauk branch starting on Tuesday. So, with that being all said, let's get straight into the Queen Subways. Now, for Labor Day service, I want to mention NYCT. The LIRR and NICE bus will be running on a Sunday schedule on Monday, September 2nd in a servants of Labor Day. I will mention something very important here and Transdev confirmed this last week. New NICE bus schedules will go into effect on Sunday, September 1st. So Transdev officially posted it on the NICE bus website, which if you want to see the official press release, I will... Link it in the description below. The press release also includes the brand new PDF timetables like they normally do with the Nassau Intercounty Express Buses website. So thankfully we have the new websites and I will confirm right now the good thing about Transdev and the Long Island Railroad having this shared partnership for whatever the reason I found out was. They are apparently lining up the nice bus schedules with Limbrook train service. So apparently now, my normal 11.13 train to Limbrook has now been pushed back to 11.21 starting on Tuesday, September 3rd. And that will impact me when I go back to the Babylon branch 
in October, which I'll bring it up right now. I am working on going to Massapequa. I am working on that. I have three candidates because October I'm going to the finance committee meeting in Midtown. No, it's Lower Manhattan. What am I saying? Right. I know I'm doing that. So I'll just quickly bring that up as an example of the new schedules impacting me. Also, I will mention that the summertime train I liked at New Hyde Park, the one that went westbound from New Hyde Park, I think it was the 1110, something like around, something around that time frame. So on a Kakuma train, it did make a stop at New Hyde Park, but now they're eliminating that, which is a bummer. So that really stinks. That really stinks. But that's just some of the examples of Nice Bus and the LIRR having. A combined partnership, if you want to say that. Now, let's get to the Queen Subways. Good news is, no plan work on the 7. Now, I'm left wondering one thing here. Why aren't they doing any plan work? Because the Mets aren't home this weekend. They're playing the Phillies, and then they're playing the Nationals. So, uh, I don't know why they're not doing any work. That kind of confuses me. Let's hope they're not doing any work next weekend because the Mets will be playing Philadelphia next weekend. So let's just hope that they do not have any plan work, the MTA, when the Mets are going to be at City Field. And more importantly, for Labor Day weekend, we do have the U.S. Open for tennis. So that is another reason why you could not have any plan work on the 7 this weekend. I forgot to completely bring that up. I will mention very quickly for the weather that it's going to be gorgeous this weekend. We're going to have low humidity today, tomorrow, Saturday, and on Sunday. However, Monday, if you are going to the U.S. Open, there might be a chance of rain. So they might delay play and actually put the roof up at R for Ash Stadium. So just want to quickly mention that weather is another factor. If you're going to be using public transportation, of course, to get to the U.S. Open. And one more thing, Long Island Railroad customers, if you are coming from other branches, I would recommend you do have an option of going to Woodside and transferring one stop eastbound to Flushing Main Street. So you do have that option, and I'm hoping the railroad's not going to have any temporary platforms. So that's the last thing we need at Woodside. Now, let's get to the end train. August 30th through September 3rd, 9.45 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Tuesday. Downtown end trains will skip 28th Street, 23rd Street, 8th Street, NYU, and Prince Street because of track maintenance. For service to these stations, take the end to 14th Street, Union Square, or Canal Street. And transfer to an Uptown N, Q Local, or R train. For service from these stations, take the N, Q Local, or R train to 14th Street Union Square or 34th Street Herald Square and transfer to a Towntown N. And I do apologize for the typo. The Weekender and I never cooperate. I want to quickly specifically mention one thing that this will also impact the Q and R heading downtown. So uh, specifics, I just want to mention that Matt Camper will have his presentation up the same time around. I Obviously, this will be the same time as this video is going up. So for that, I will be linking Matt's video in the description below. And it will take you right to Camper News Network, where he has more specifics on the Q and the R. So if you want that, I highly recommend watching his presentation. On the W, once again, service ending early for the second straight weekend. So this will begin later tonight, August 30th at 8.30 p.m. We have track maintenance that will end service early on the W. So please take the N or the R trains. Quick reminder, W's do not run on weekends. And I will also remind everybody, I know I couldn't find it specifically, but I know this by heart. 
W trains do not run on holidays. So Monday, September 2nd, if you want W service, you're not going to get it until Tuesday, the 3rd. So just keep that in mind. On the M train, August 30th for the 31st, 10 p.m. Friday to 1.30 a.m. Saturday. And August 31st through September 3rd, 6 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. Saturday to Tuesday. Special weekend M service will run between Middle Village Metropolitan Avenue and 47th and 50th Street Rockefeller Plaza and via the F to and from Lexington Avenue 63rd Street and via the Q to and from 2nd Avenue 96th Street. This is of course in connection with the L train work. On the R train, August 30th through September 2nd. 9.45 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. Friday, and 6 a.m. to 11.45 p.m. Saturday to Monday, Manhattan bound R trains will skip 65th Street, Northern Boulevard, 46th, Steinway, and 36th Street because of track maintenance. For service to these stations, take the R to Queens Plaza and transfer to a Forest Hills 71st Avenue bound train. For service from these stations, take the R to Roosevelt Avenue and transfer to a Manhattan bound train. Is there any work on the E? August 30th through September 3rd, 9.45 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Tuesday. So wow, this will go all the way to Tuesday. All right then. Uptown East will skip Spring Street and 23rd Street because of flood protection. For service to these stations, take the E to West 4th Street or 34th Street Penn Station and transfer to a downtown A local, C, or E. For service from these stations, take the A, C, or E to 14th Street or Canal Street and transfer to an uptown E. A and C's will also be impacted. However, the A and C will not be stopping at 50th Street going uptown, but the E will. And again, for specifics and the times regarding the A and the C, please watch Matt Camper's video. Once again, link will be in the description below. August 30th through September 3rd, 11.45 p.m. to 5 a.m. Friday to Tuesday. An outbound e trains will skip 65th Street, Northern Boulevard, 46th Street, Steinway Street, and 36th Street because of track maintenance. For service to these stations, take the E to Queens Plaza and transfer to a Jamaica Centerbound E local. For service from these stations, take the E to Roosevelt Avenue and transfer to a World Trade Center bound E. The F train. How's that looking? August 30th through September 3rd, 9.45 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Tuesday, and this should be easy to follow along. Trust, trust me, I, I know what I'm talking about. Coney Island, Stillwell Avenue bound trains will be rerouted via the E after 36th Street in Queens to 4750th Street, Rockefeller Plaza because of track maintenance. For service to bypass F stations, you can take the F train to 4750th Street Rockefeller Plaza and transfer to a Jamaica 179th Street bound F train. So the good news is, and again, this is why I know Rockefeller Plaza very well. If you want to get to the bypass stations, just go across the track. You can walk upstairs. You can do it that way and go downstairs to the Queensbound platform and take the F that way. From 21st Street and Roosevelt Island, you can take the F to Roosevelt Avenue and transfer to a Coney Island bound F train. So that's going to be a little bit complicated in that sense, but... I will say it right now, if you backtrack to Roosevelt Avenue, it makes a whole lot of sense that way. Now, here's something interesting here. From Lexington Avenue and 63rd Street, because the M's going to be rerouted this weekend, 
you can take the M or the Q to 34th Street Herald Square and then transfer to a Coney Island bound F to complete your trip. So again, you need service to Coney Island, you can do that. I would also recommend that if you want direct service to Coney Island, Stillwell Avenue, you can also just take the B. You can take the B if you need to, unless if I'm wrong, I can just quickly check my emails. Let me just see if I can check the emails very quickly on my phone, because that's why I have the phone. If I didn't have the phone, then I wouldn't be able to get you the right information, so let me just see this. Oh, okay. So B service will be ending early because of track maintenance. You have to take the C, D, and or Q. So, oh boy, that's not good. So now you're going to have to go to local stops. Okay. So if you need to get to Coney Island, just take the M or the Q. That would be the best alternative. Take the M to the F. That would be my recommendation. That really stinks. So no no Express B service. That is not good. But I understand why they have to repair the Express track in Brooklyn, I guess. From 57th Street, use nearby 57th Street, 7th Avenue, NQ or R, and downtown service 34th Street, Herald Square, where Coney Island bound F will be available. And I quickly want to mention another weekend where... Westbound F's will be skipping 169th Street because of track maintenance. So again, you have your buses available. I will also mention the Q43 is another option. Just want to quickly bring that up. From, from service from the station, take the F to 179th Street and transfer to a Coney Island bound train. Now to the J Line. It's only going to be in Manhattan this weekend. So August 30th through September 2nd, 9.45 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. on Monday. J Trains will not run between Broad Street and Chambers Street because of track maintenance. Use the 4 and the 5. Use the 4 and the 5 at nearby Fulton or Wall Street or Bowling Green Stations instead. Transfer at Chambers Street, Brooklyn Bridge. A and the C. There's no plan work on the Queens. However, on the C line. So here are these specific times very quickly. For 135th Street, Uptown C's will skip it because of track maintenance. This will be from September 2nd, 10 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. only on Monday, Labor Day. You can take the A or the D line. Which we'll get to the A in just a second because it's a grand finale. Quickly bring that up. August 30th through September 2nd. 9.45 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. on Friday. And 6.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday to Monday. C trains will not run between 145th Street and 168th Street because of track maintenance. Take the A instead. C trains will run between Euclid Avenue in Brooklyn and Harlem 145th Street. Transfer to and from the A at Harlem 125th Street or 145th Street. Now, we have track maintenance. So what does this mean? Well, A trains are going to be running local in both directions between 59th Street, Columbus Circle, and 168th Street. This work will be taking place between August 30th through September 3rd 10 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Now to the G. The good news is, no plan work between Brooklyn and Queens along the Green Line. Now, without further ado, let's get straight to the Long Island Railroad service changes. And... For next weekend's service change, I'll have to really be mindful of the typing errors. So, I'll be mindful of that. Now, let's get straight into what we need to talk about with the Long Island Railroad. 
So here we are on the Long Island Railroad's website. Once again, couldn't do the PowerPoint this week because of too much information I had to just copy and paste. Hopefully next weekend for the NASA one switch replacement work, I will be able to hopefully fit that all into the presentation for next weekend. But let's discuss the added trains for today. Friday, August 30th, 2019. So, there are four customers getting an early start for the extended Labor Day weekend. Eight additional trains will depart Penn Station between 2.08 p.m. and 3.48 p.m. There will be three additional trains in the Babylon branch, three extra trains to Hicksville and Huntington, and one each for, for Far Rockaway and Great Neck. And once again, Rockakama got screwed. When will this railroad ever learn? But let's discuss something important. On Monday, September 2nd, trains will operate on a Sunday holiday schedule in observance of the Labor Day holiday. Please note the usual Sunday afternoon westbound trains from Montauk and the Hamptons will not operate on Sunday, September 1st, but will instead run on Labor Day, Monday, September 2nd. The extra Friday afternoon departures from Penn Station include on the Babylon branch, 2.22 p.m. express from Penn Station to Rockville Center, then all stops to Babylon, 2.32 express train from Penn Station to Lambrook, then all stops to Babylon, 3 o'clock train from Penn Station stopping at Jamaica, Rockville Center, and then all stops to Babylon, Hicksville Huntington Line, 2.08 train from Penn Station, Stopping at Jamaica, Mineola, then all stops to Huntington. 229 train from Penn Station stopping at Forest Hills, Kew Gardens, Jamaica, New High Park, then all stops to Huntington. 324 p.m. train from Penn Station stopping at Jamaica, Mineola, Westbury, and Hicksville. On the Far Rockaway branch, 348 p.m. express from Penn Station to Locust Manor, then all stops to Far Rockaway. And on the Port Washington branch, we have a 3.40 p.m. train to Woodside, Flushing Main Street, then all stops to Great Neck, Great Neck. so that will mean that Broadway, Murray Hill, Auburndale, that train will be stopping there if anybody is seeking additional service to those three stations. Now, another important thing. I need to bring up. This is very important. New timetables go into effect this Tuesday, September 3rd. So please make a note of that. The schedules will last until November. So that date is Sunday, November 10th, which that is two days after my birthday, of course. My birthday is Thursday the 8th. And I also want to mention that uh, some trains will be impacted on some branches because they are going to be doing Speary Rail testing along the Montauk branch going all the way out to Patchog. So I would highly recommend to please read the PDFs. All train schedules will be in the link in the description below. So this link right here I will put in the description so you all can take a look at the PDFs because I know eventually we will come to a day where the paper schedules will not be available anymore and we'll just have to rely on PDFs which it's coming it's already happened with New York City Transit it's gonna happen with the railroads especially Long Island and Metro North Territory so with that I'm going to wrap up this weekend service changes video so thank you all very much for watching and until the next one please take care